My name's Lakin. I am the brand manager for the Tobles division here at Jayco, and I'm here with Jason Martin, the director of product development for the Eagle and Talent Lines. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Today, we are in front of a Eagle HT travel trailer. This is the 274 CKDS floor plan, and Jason's going to tell us a little bit about it. Well, thanks, Lakin. So we're talking about this. Yes, we're excited about this unit because this unit, particular unit, 274 CKDS. CKDS, what does that stand for? Everybody always asks what we're doing with those letters. This one actually stands for your center kitchen dual slides. So what, when we get inside, you're going to see that we have a lot of massive, expansive space around that kitchen island and stuff that we're really excited about. Um, this particular unit um, is coming soon to a dealer near you, um, but we're going to start out talking about how we have, we have our patent-pinned incorporated uh, cap along with our storage tray up here. With this tray, what it does, it allows you to integrate back inside. It gives you be able to get capacity to put a 5,500 watt on a generator in it. You can get it prepped. Um, you can also put multiple batteries up in there for those that like to do more dry camping. Um, all of our Eagles actually have the option to be able to do the Overlander solar, uh, solar package, which is really great because you get a 190 watt solar panel. Uh, you put some multiple batteries down there because everybody knows the panel is only the fuel the batteries are actually the gas tank that holds it up so that you can keep operating as you go along. Um, you've got your standard uh, LP cover, power tongue jack. Um, as we come around the corner, you can see we get back into how, just how big this unit is. Um, it's a lot on the inside for a small package. This particular unit is only 33 feet, six inches long overall, weighs a dry weight of 8,020 pounds. And it, it's got a modest tongue weight of 930 pounds. Um, so some of the things we also want to talk about is this unit particularly, we have Jayco always talks about its strong foundations. Well, the foundation starts with the frame. And this particular frame is what we call a drop frame. So you actually have your, your main I-beam, and then what we do is we have an overlapping I-beam with the integrated A-frame just up underneath it. And what does that do? Well, what it does is it gives you a lot more storage space than your normal typical as you can see, there's a lot going on inside this area. Um, to be able to put lawn chairs inside there, typically you'll get a little small little baggage door that's only about 12, 13 inches tall. This is a lot bigger. Um, some of the other nice things are slam latches, and then we also have our new magnetic uh, baggage door latches going on. Uh, little nice feature we have right here, we put on, on the sides of our eels is the spray port. What this is, is allows you to take your um, connectable shower head that we put, get, provide to you from your convenience center. You'll be able to bring it to this side of the coach and you actually have be able to wash off the dog, rinse off some of your lawn chairs, uh, umbrellas, or any of those type of things that you have without having to squeeze in between another coach or go all the way around the other side. Um, some more things that we have going on on this Eagle HD is we have this integrated uh, or the friction hitch door. As you can see, it just doesn't slam, it actually so you have that windproof, and then you have the slingshot screen door. What that does is it just, as you walk out, it actually snaps back. So when the kids are running in and out, you have the screen open. You don't have to worry about them slamming it real hard. It's going to bring back, and they don't leave it open and let all the flies and bugs and mosquitoes in. Um, we have the more right step above with the spring assist. As you can see, nice and easy, easy to use. You don't have to worry about something coming down as you're trying to pull it out of the coach. You have to worry about trying to grab it or if it's going to fall down on your head. Nice, easy motion. Um, one of the other next steps that we go a little bit further is, is instead of giving you a little small grab handle, we give you the extra large oversized grab handle. This allows you to be able to get up inside the coach for the little ones or for somebody who has a little bit more problems and they don't like that traditional step going on. As you can see, though, we do have our um, slide topper prep that we started this year. What that does is allows that we've decided to make it a little easier for the dealership and, or a customer to be able to actually install slide toppers over their units after the fact. So say you bought the unit, you're all happy with it, but you've been out and about and you said, you know what, I wish I really would have put those on at one time when I bought it. Well, we've made it a lot easier for that to happen with a little bit less cost. So as we come in, you've got that big wide open area of space. You also have an 84 inches tall interior. You don't have a 78 or anything like that, so it makes it nice and open feeling. 
Um, <clears throat> some of the, one of the other things that we have in our EC lineups is if you look up here, you see these little vents. So what are those vents for? Those are actually your air intake for your whisper quiet AC. And what that does is your AC sits on top just like normal, but instead of actually pulling air in from this big piece that sits in the middle that can actually either direct dump or tie into a duct system that always wants to vibrate and make a lot of noise, now everything is cushioned from uh, the top <clears throat> in between. So your air comes inside, goes up, goes inside up into the unit, and then it actually brings the cold air in through your um, rotaires through here. But what it does is it allows people from having to get really loud when they're talking to each other. Or in my case, if we're sitting here and you've asked my wife, I have the TV jacked up to 70 just so I can hear and she's saying it annoys her to the point. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, so we've talked about the ACs. We talked about how big and expansive it is. Uh, as you can see, we have our standard rocker recliners. Um, they're a real great feature that we have here at Jayco. You can also opt into the theater seating. Now this year with the theater seating, we've actually upgraded it a little bit more and we've gone to the heat and the size and it actually gives you that night light that you see down below. Um, as we were talking about those, as, as, as Emily was painting down, you notice that there's hardly any carpet in our units. What we're trying to do is make it more functional and more abilities to be able to just enjoy yourselves without having to worry about tracking a lot of stuff in. So the carpet is very minimal, it's just in the slide out, and everything else is just easy to sweep up and throw it right out the door. <clears throat> um, we have our, our modern farmhouse interior. This has actually gone over gangbusters for us here at Jayco. And Eagle is one of the first ones to, to launch this product and make it available, you have the ability to have this happen. This has become so popular, and the idea of having two interior designs has become so um, ingrained in what we're able to do that we've actually launched it to almost every product line that we have here at Jayco, and we're really excited about that ability. Um, we have our standard tripod sofa. Uh, you have different things throughout. Um, you know, your standard Furion TV, 40 inch. We have the optional um, Furion fireplace. It's a 5,000 watt BTU heater. Well, it runs on electricity. What's that mean for you? We talk about it being big, but it is actually a little bit smaller coach. So when you are hooked up to full uh, electricity and you don't want to run your propane and you don't want to turn the heater on and you get up in the morning, you want to have that cup of coffee, you want to sit and enjoy it just a little bit warmer, it takes the chill off. Same thing at night, sit here watching, reading a book, doing something, crossword puzzle. It actually allows you to um, enjoy yourself. So this floor plan comes with an upgraded refrigerator option. Does that minimize your pantry and drawer space at all? It does. It takes a little bit away, but we do have a lot of countertop space. As you can see, you have it right here at the sink, you have it next to your stove, and then you have that nice hutch area over there. Mm -hmm. So not only do you have storage down below, above, and all these other areas, you also have a lot of countertop space to be able to do. So I could be over here prepping, my wife could be over there doing something. We have a crock, or crock pot over there, we could have a skillet over there, you can have your morning coffee maker, which is a must in my household. <laughs> um, but this 13.5 gas cubic foot of gas electric refrigerator is only available in two of Eagle Travel Trailer HT models. And we're really excited about that because some people will give up some pantry space to have that extra large um, uh, refrigerator to be able to carry stuff more often when they're going. Because like we said, it is a couple coach. They might not have needed to have a lot, a lot of plates because there's not a big family inside of it, but they want to be able to have, be able to go out a little bit longer, so they want to have more storage space. If you do not get this upgrade, you still have an extra pantry right here. So sacrifice one for the other, but you do get the ability to have a lot difference. We have our uh, 24 inch um, OTR microwave with a built in range hood. We have our cast iron grates, which is great. These are really great to have when you're cooking. And then our 21 inch oven stainless steel now we go a little bit farther we give you that pots and pans rack you got to throw some big stuff inside there uh, we have a pull out faucet going on in our first it's great to be able to fill a pot off to the side or actually doing dishes and actually cleaning up the messes and then we talked about your storage space and then you also have these glass cabinet doors it just gives that extra stacy stewart oomph and, and great surprise on our interior designs aspects 
So going back to seating and sleeping, this table is really great, but what about if you want the booth dinette option? We do have the booth dinette option, Lincoln. And then what you get with that is, is as you're, you're creating the booth dinette, it's great to have that extra little sleeping space. So if you do have younger kids or even another set of adults that can try to sleep on there, um, there's storage also up underneath. So when you get that option, there's storage trays that pull out. But this comes standard with this actual dinette table. You get two solid chairs, you get two folding chairs that we actually put up underneath the bed. And then as you can see here, you've got the spring or the strut assist, extendable table. What's really nice about this is this is actually a little bit of another storage spot. You could put a little silverware tray down inside there that you don't want to take up your other space. Uh, some placemats can go down inside there. So when you want to go to eat, you just pull it out. You could set the table in a way you can go. <clears throat> Cool. What about the J Command system? Is that offered on the HT lineup? Um, the J Command is offered on it. I mean, it is the J Command powered by one control. And what that is, is that's a, a lipper component system that you don't necessarily see a control pad, but we do have usually a, a little POPP thing here that lets you know what it, it is involved. When you download the one control app, there's a series of steps you're going to walk through. And then one of the things it's going to ask you to do is scan the QR code for the thing. And that's usually right inside there, inside the cabinet, you'll see that. They'll go ahead and they'll scan that open. They'll ask you to do a set of, sta um, set of steps to go through to actually activate it. And when you do, it's great because it can actually run your slides, it'll run your awning, turn some of your lights on and off, and it'll also help you with some of your leveling when you opt into the leveling system. Um, we talk about uh, some of the other little fine features that we've got going on. Some of them we have like a little, this little dimmer switch right here. You can just touch a button, turn it on and off. You sit there and hold it and it'll actually dim the lights. Um, <clears throat> just little added touches like that um, are more and more what make the Eagle HT product very viable. And that's why we're really excited about this smaller coach of all the, the stuff that you get with it. As we come in down the hallway, <clears throat> I'll open the door here and we'll kind of talk about it. You actually have a pretty big bathroom in such a smaller coach. You have the 30-30 shower with the, the classical door. You have a backlit medicine cabinet uh, with a lot of storage. Um, big countertop area for, and not just a little itty bitty uh, lab pool. You got something substantial you can get down in there, splash water on your face and all that stuff with a porcelain toilet. As you talked about, <clears throat> we talked about earlier the tall ceilings, which makes it nice because then we have the extra large doors. Just because we have tall ceilings, we don't bring the door height down to just a 72 inches and we expand it up. So that's what a lot of people, especially uh, some taller gentlemen or ladies, they like that because on a travel trailer, you feel like you're not so enclosed. Um, as you come in here, we have our queen bed standard. Um, we have the residential bedding. We have the new Serta mattress that we have going on inside um, all of our Eagle products. And then you have the residential style bedding. Get some nice pillows, some accents and some shams. <clears throat> We have a lot of hanging storage inside here on both sides in these mirrors. Hanging here, um, we have not only do we have our bed reading lights, which you can turn on for reading, or you can just have a little blue night light if you wanted. We also have extra night light lighting on either side, or overhead lighting if you want to sit up inside in, in the morning. This particular unit has a second AC, so this is an optional piece for you. This is what we call um, a quick cool function AC. It's actually ducted into this system with the other one. But if you were wanting to come in here at night and you just wanted to cool the bedroom real quick, you could open these vents up. It'll cool this down. You could actually turn it over and then it pumps the air back into the system. Um, it's a great feature to have. We also have your uh, prep area for your um, second TV. Um, as you see here, we also have uh, some lot of storage space with some drawers. Um, so there's quite a bit of areas going on. And not only do we have everything in here, but we also do have storage up underneath the bed. What about um, a washer dryer prep? Does this unit come with that? It does. So the, again, a little small coats, washer dryer. There's your washer dryer prep in here. You actually remove these two shelves and you can put an all-in-one washer dryer in here. You've already got it fully plumbed for your uh, drain and your um, <clears throat> excuse me, your water lines. And what's nice about it is if you don't use it, that door that you saw inside the bathroom, that's actually storage space that we share on the other side of this. So. Right on, let's take one more look. Hopefully we finish up. We'll get some panning shots of the interior decor. 
it really is all in the details. Everything makes this feel so residential and not like you're camping at all. It makes you feel like a home away from home. Yeah, we're, we're, we really like the way things move and, and the, the price where we're at with everything. Um, all the amenities, the, the attention to detail. Uh, as you can see, you have different color hardware based on the, the color of the cabinetry. Um, it just brings that all together. And we get a lot of questions sometimes is, why isn't it all white? Well, if I brought all white in here, all modern farmhouse, it kind of gets a little blah. And you don't want blah. We don't want people to feel like that they, they're, they're living in something that's just too bright. So that's why Stacy has designed and has recommended splashes of color, your bourbon chocolate on your island, your entertainment center. Why is my bedroom, we got the question the other day, is why is my bedroom different than that? Your bedroom at home, is it the same as your kitchen at home? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. So that's why we have it that way. It feels more and more like home when you walk into these type of units. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jason, and thank you everybody for tuning in. If you have any questions at all, please drop them in the comments below and we will be answering them. And most definitely check out jco.com. Thanks guys. Thank you.